My name is Lee Felton. I'm a clinical director at GlaxoSmithKline. I have the pleasure to spend the next 10 minutes giving you an overview of the development of antisense oligonucleotides for treatment of CHD. These are my disclosures. ASOs are short oligonucleotides that are designed to prevent the expression of a targeted protein by selectively binding to the encoding RNA, resulting in RNA's H mediated degradation. All ASOs in the development for the treatment of CHB utilize a gap design shown here in the middle panel. This consists of a, a central sequence specific gap flanked by chemically, chemically modified wings uh, that aim to improve the stability and binding affinity of the molecule. Examples of such modifications include 2-MOE, lock nucleic acid, and bridge nucleic acid chemistry. ASAs may also be galmac conjugated for targeted hepatocyte delivery via the ASP receptor. Galmac is an amino sugar derivative of the lactose. As a class, ASOs share a number of safety risks related to inflammatory and immune changes, and these can vary by the underlying chemistry. As shown on the illustration on the right, the majority of ASOs in development for the treatment of CHB target both messenger RNA and pregenomic RNA within the DR2 region of the transcript. This region is present in all HBV antigens. This next slide summarizes ASOs currently or recently in clinical development for the treatment of CHB. Stars indicate the ASOs with ongoing clinical development activities. Three of these ASOs are galmac conjugated and they utilize um, a variety of wing chemical modifications. The peer reversin shown at the bottom is the most advanced in development with multiple phase 2b studies ongoing. It should be noted that GSK3389404 shown to assess same sequence as uh, the peer reversin, uh, but has, a gap, has the galmac conjugation. The peer reversin is the naked ASO. Clinical efficacy of three of these ASOs has been studied in phase uh, 1b or 2a with the greatest reductions in HBS antigen being observed with one month's dosing of the peer reversin. New data in the last, uh, presented in the last 12 months uh, is summarized in the column on the right, which includes new preclinical data from Allegos Pharmaceuticals and final study data from Roche and GSK's the peer reversin. New preclinical data um, uh, from the AAV HBV neuron CHB model was presented by Allegos uh, for their Galmac conjugated S targeted ASO at a parcel and AASLD. Allegos, as shown in the panel at the top right, demonstrated suppression of S antigen, but without the ALT elevations that have previously been associated with the LNA chemistry. Allegos also presented the first data on the potential synergistic activity of HBV targeted ASOs and siRNAs in the same AAV HBV murine model. At the bottom left, I've put together a table that summarizes the preclinical activity of all four ASOs in development across different murine models. HBS antigen suppression ranged from minus 1.5 log 10 for ALGO20572 to minus 3 log 10 for Roche's 706.2931. Um, in a different model, HBV transgenic um, mouse, as was anticipated, higher doses um, of the unconjugated peer reversin were required to achieve similar levels of HS antigen suppression to the gamma conjugated GSK404. New clinical data of safety and efficacy has been published for Roche's 706-2931 and GSK's the peer reversin, and is summarized in the table here alongside previously published data for GSK 3389-404. In summary, um, greater reductions in HBS antigen have been observed with higher dose unconjugated ASO peer reversin than for Galmac conjugated ASOs. As shown on the right, the peer reversin is the only um, ASO that has been shown to induce transient clearance of HBS antigen, which is, was observed in both untreated patients and patients on stable nucleoside analog therapy. And this was data recently published um, in uh, Nature Medicine. As a whole, published data to date indicate that HBV targeted ASOs are generally well tolerated uh, when dosed for up to four weeks. Injection site action reactions are the most commonly reported treatment emergent adverse events. 
Now, in contrast to other GALMAC conjugated ASOs and also siRNAs, um, reductions in S antigen in patients dosed for up to four weeks with 300 milligrams per kiloversum were followed by self-resolving ALT elevations. An example of the temporal relationship between S antigen suppression and ALT is shown um, in the illustration here. On the left, for a single participant on stable nuke therapy, dose for up to four weeks with 300 milligrams per kiloversum. ALT is shown in the red, sorry, so ALT is shown in the purple, and S antigen as log 10 international units is shown uh, in red. Vertical lines are the dosing schedule here at Burson. As you can see, suppression of S antigen preceded ALT elevations, which then went on to self resolve in the off-treatment phase. For this particular participant, HBS antigen remained below the level of quantification, the majority of the off-treatment follow-up period, but did, did become detectable after 26 weeks. Um, as is shown on the right, larger ALT elevations were associated with greater S antigen reductions irrespective of E antigen status with the greatest ALT elevations observed for participants that achieved S antigen declines of at least two log 10. Overall, GSK concluded that these data support the hypothesis that suppression of S antigen to below LLOQ can lead to a targeted destruction of HPV infected hepatocytes by the immune system, resulting in raised transaminases within the blood. Moving on to new biomarker data, GSK presented new data on HB correlated antigen and HPV RNA at ASLD from their phase 2A study, which indicated that the peer reversal was able to suppress S antigen, S antigen production from both CCC DNA and from integrated HPV DNA. HPV RNA and correlated antigen are surrogate markers for transcriptionally active CCC DNA. As demonstrated here in a single, naive, um, single treatment naive patient, there was an overall positive correlation in HPV RNA and correlated antigen with HBS antigen declines, confirming the peer reversal can target S antigen from transcriptionally active CCC DNA. In study participants on stable nucleoside analog therapy, the majority of these patients had correlated antigen and HPV RNA below LLLQ um, at baseline, implying very, implying very low levels of transcriptionally active CCC DNA and indicating the majority of S antigen in these patients was derived from integrated HPV DNA. Interestingly, very Low levels of HPV RNA and correlated antigen were also reported by Roche in their phase 1B study in patients on stable nuclear therapy. Despite the very low levels of um, CCC DNA activity, um, patients in GSK's the peer reversal study uh, on stable nuclear therapy saw a significant declines in S antigen of up to three logs, indicating activity against integrated DNA. At the International Liver Congress in 2021, GSK also presented new data exploring immunological markers from their phase 2A study. Analysis of cytokine expression in longitudinal serum and plasma samples was performed for both treatment naive and nuke stable patients. Acute phase proteins, extracellular matrix proteins, and interferon gamma were all upregulated within 24 hours of the periverse and dosing. Shown here at the bottom of the table, the fourth row up. Um, Total IgM uh, was, in, uh, was shown to be increased from day eight dosing and throughout the treatment period. Biomarkers indicative of macrophage activation, recruitment and activation of TMB cells were elevated in most patients with S antigen reduction, while these responses were dampened in non-responders. Again, GSK concluded that these observations support the hypothesis that ALT elevations from suppression of S antigen are driven by HPV targeted immune responses. My final slide summarizes some of the key questions that will need to be addressed as antisense oligonucleotides progress through clinical development of functional cure of CHP. Most of these questions are broadly relevant to the development of new therapies for CHP, for example, when to stop nucleoside analog therapy in full and partial responders, and whether suppression of viral antigens alone will be sufficient to drive functional cure. I think one of the more platform specific questions that needs to be addressed is why enhanced pharmacodynamic activity achieved with GALNAC conjugation in preclinical neurine models has not translated into the clinic. It will be interesting to see how other ASOs in development, such as Allegos's S-targeted ASO, bear in patients in this regard. Thank you.